If you found this video, it's probably because you've got an Elgato prompter and it's just not working. I was so excited to get my Elgato prompter. I've been eyeing it for so long. I'm here to help. Spoiler alert, I did get it to work. So watch the video and I'll show you how. I've also been using a Desview teleprompter and I tried to connect a small monitoring screen, but it was really, really clunky and finicky to get going. And I've been at least 15 minutes setting it up. So when I heard about the Elgato prompter, I knew this could be a game changer. So I ordered it and received it. And then I connected it using the supplied cord. A blue Elgato screen appeared and then black. Because I had a 2023 MacBook Pro, I had to connect my prompter to a hub. So I thought this might be the reason I started Googling. On live streaming pros, I'll leave a link in the description. They suggested to restart the computer, leaving the cable plugged in. And then if that didn't work, try it with a Thunderbolt cable. So I tried both of those, didn't work. Then they said that no one had got it to work on Sonoma, which was really bad because I'm on Sonoma. Then I saw Tom Buck's excellent reviews and he pointed out it might be because I've plugged it into a hub. So before I ran out and got another cable, I gave Google one last try and I came up with this Reddit post. In this thread, not I am Will pointed out that it is a display link. And so we need to treat it like a display link, not a normal display. So you can do this by heading to the top bar on the Mac and you should see a display link logo. I'll show it to you. And I clicked on all the toggles except for allow flux to warm colors at night. So random. And then I went to system preferences, privacy, screen and system audio recording and clicked on display link manager. Magic, it works. And I hope it works for you too. After you use the Elgato prompter for a while, you might realize that it's a little bit glitchy. So in my experience, most of the difficulties can be fixed by quitting your camera hub and restarting your computer and starting again. But really, once you've got it to work, it actually is a great little device and I'm really happy that I got it to work. Now I'm going to head back into my Elgato prompter and give it a try. I hope this helped. See you in the next video.